highly sophisticated robotic surgery. The most advanced diagnostic imaging tools. These are just a few of what makes St. Luke's Medical Center a game changer in the Philippine healthcare industry. Medical research is also a cornerstone at the institution. One of its flagship programs at the Quezon City branch, a study on dengue. When this lab was started in 95, this was already one of the flagship programs. So there were many studies on dengue done before, like uh, detection, studying the virus itself, developing uh, better detection methods. Years of research brought us this, the Dengue Test Kit, a game changer in itself in the fight against the deadly disease. We decided to develop a test that can be done without a lab and even the patients themselves can, can do the test. Mm -hmm. So what's groundbreaking is that you don't need to go to the hospital to be tested for Dengue. The Dengue Test Kit is easy to use. It works like a pregnancy test kit and get the result within 15 to 20 minutes. The drop of blood is loaded in this region here and uh, once applied, the sample would, would go through the window here and if the patient is positive, they would see two lines. And if a patient is negative, they would only see one line forming. So that is easily, anyone can interpret that as positive or negative. Right now, the Dengue test kit is still on the field testing stage. Another vital research being conducted by St. Luke's Medical Center is the Human Cancer Biobank. The Human Cancer Biobank is a, a St. Luke's initiative here in the country to systematically store and archive samples from our patients' tumors, uh, blood samples, uh, fluids, biopsies. The Human Cancer Biobank also gathers and archives important data about the patient's cases. These samples that we collect together with their data from the patients is very useful to support any research initiatives, any from uh, discovering and testing new drugs to new diagnostics, new ways of classifying cancers, and developing approaches to management of cancer. St. Luke's saw the pressing need to localize cancer research here in the Philippines. From serious medical research, there's also a lighter side to St. Luke's. In its Bonifacio Global City branch in Taguig, a floor has been allotted for this. The entire wing operates like a hotel, providing a decent and more accessible accommodation for patients and their relatives. From the basic rooms, one could go as posh as this, the Ambassador Suite. Want more class? Try the Presidential Suite, featuring a guest room, an elegant dining area, a living room, a kitchen, and a jacuzzi. The facilities surely make hospitals less intimidating and, yes, more medical tourist friendly. Experts say hospital design has become more innovative and liberal. The very basic is um, we just need to be need specific. So we cater to what is concurrent, 
what is um, contemporary, what is um, needed as of the moment. Apart from groundbreaking hospital innovations, St. Luke's saw another important need to make medical services more accessible to the community. And that is by bringing the urgent care concept to the Philippines. Urgent care clinics started in the U.S. in the 1970s. They also gained popularity in Europe. The thrust is for us to declog emergency rooms because right now, there is no alternative option for Filipinos to go to except emergency room for immediate medical attention. Starting out as an experiment, St. Luke's put up a 24-7 urgent care facility just adjacent to the hospital's emergency room. Eventually, it opened a satellite urgent care facility in a corporate building, just where round-the-clock call centers are located. Equipped with modern facilities, urgent care is designed to handle non-life-threatening cases 24-7. But the concept, being new to Filipinos, requires more than just a marketing campaign. That is actually the challenge of the concept right now. Um, part of the marketing campaign is an educational campaign um, in order to educate Filipinos on the value of urgent care. Meanwhile, St. Luke's continues to watch out for the next new medical technology, the latest breakthrough research methods, constantly changing to serve better. There is no other way but to improve and be able to say that we can also be a destination place. And if this becomes the battle cry of the healthcare industry, then I have no doubt that the Philippine healthcare industry will create its mark, not only within our confines, but also beyond.